The first astronauts for China's new space station has, have successfully blasted off in what will be the country's longest crewed mission. Taking off from the Gobi Desert, the trio launched on a Long March 2F rocket to the new orbiting space station named the Heavenly Palace. For three months, astronauts will set up experiments and prepare for a series of spacewalks. It'll be the first long-term stay aboard, even though the sta station is still under construction. Well, this latest mission is considered a step forward in establishing Beijing as a major player in space travel. Tianhu, or Harmony of the Heavens, is supposed to consolidate China's power in space. It's the name given to the 17-metre-long core module, which will supply the new space station with energy, keep it on course, and provide the three astronauts with room to live and carry out research. The crew will examine whether the solar cells deliver electricity reliably. They'll also try out improved spacesuits, which should allow them to stay in space twice as long. The core module was transported into orbit with China's heavy lift launch vehicle, the Long March 5, at the end of April. The mission took place later than planned due to mechanical problems. Tianhu is similar to the module that Russia built for the International Space Station, a legacy of close cooperation in space that China and Russia now aim to strengthen further. A cargo spacecraft carrying important supplies including fuel, clothing and provisions for the crew docked with the space station at the end of May. It will take 11 more missions before the space station is complete. Two further research modules will dock with the station in 2022, when it will begin operations. It's an ambitious schedule, but China is fast advancing to the top league of space travel. The country first sent an astronaut into space in 2003, well behind Russia and the United States. In 2019, China celebrated a spectacular first by landing on the dark side of the moon, in a scientifically interesting region in the satellite's South Pole. China also has Mars in its sights. Since last May, the Zhurong research spacecraft has been exploring the Red Planet and even sending selfies back to Earth. Beijing is offering every nation the opportunity to conduct research on its space station, but getting there will remain firmly in Chinese hands. Europe has already accepted the offer. European Space Agency astronauts have already undertaken training in China. The ISS era is coming to an end. The United States is critical of the project. It says cooperating in this way would put international security at risk.